Good afternoon. Welcome to Wings of Intercession Prophetic Prayer Movement. I'm Prophetess Misty Goodwin. We're under the leadership of our pastor, Dr. Russell Antonio Goodwin Sr. at the Movement Center Church. We welcome you today. We ask that you be the evangelist of the ministry. Invite others uh, to share this prayer. If you don't know who has need of Jesus, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, turn on the notifications, and join the movement today. We are so excited about what God has done, doing, and getting ready to do. Our focus in the month of July is the stillness of God in Psalms 90 and 12. So teach us to number our days that we may pre uh, present a heart of wisdom. Uh, teach us to number our days that we may present a heart of wisdom. Today I want to pray about the fight against your destiny. I believe uh, many are in idle time, idle in their time, idle in their thoughts, idle in the way they're moving in this season of their life. And it's imperative, uh, as I, I spoke on Sunday, it's imperative that you have an urgency to fulfill the destiny call on your life. And um, in order to do that, you need the wisdom of God. We really have to pursue after wisdom Numa intelligence for all the things that we are experiencing in the earth. And so I want to go right into prayer today. Amen. Because uh, the, the deception is roaring, it's moving in ways you never would imagine. And uh, through technology, through media, it's a lot of confusion. And if your eyes is not fixed on Jesus, you'll find yourself altering uh, the way you move based upon what you hear, what you see, what you are experiencing, but we must be obedient to the steps God has ordered us to walk in, and that requires you to number your days. Your days in this earth must be intentional. You must begin to move in a way that you're purposeful around how you move. Glory to God. This is the earth, time and season of urgency, urgency around the purpose and purpose is the plans God have for you and destiny steps is the, the the direction the journey that God is leading you to God every part of your purpose requires destiny steps and it requires you to be obedient every day amen and so if you're not really seeking first the kingdom every day you'll find yourself with idle thoughts idle uh, uh, steps and you know you miss the move of God in your life and it's the will of God for you to pursue after his plan that shall prevail. So let's pray. Spirit of the living God, we thank you for this day, this opportunity to dwell in your presence. We decrease that you increase and we invite the Holy Spirit to lead us, to guide us in intercession. Father, you know the numbers of hairs on our head are going in and are coming out and we rely on you to lead us and guide us and God as you're teaching us to number our days Lord I pray that you expose reveal and remove any idle steps we are taking that's not in the right direction anything that we may be doing in uh, that's not in your will father we pray that you lead us and guide us in the way we need to go and we will follow you I pray Psalms 119 over your people today God that they will walk in the steps you plan for them glory to God and look into your uh your voice and your face glory to god seeking your presence glory to god in your stillness there is wisdom in your stillness there is knowledge in your stillness there's understanding in your stillness there's revelation in your stillness there's mysteries of your will concerning our life father i thank you for what you have done what you're doing and what you getting ready to do as we repent for the idle steps we may have taken before idle thoughts that we have that we entertain glory to god i pray you break chains destroy yokes annihilate lies tear down the kingdom of darkness and cause us to rise to that place in which you have ordained for our lives father in the name of jesus we are leak needing to know what it is you need us to do in this time in this in this time in this hour father and so every day we wake up we seek your faith Every day we wake up, we pursue after your plans. Every day we wake up, we're walking in the steps you ordered for us, God. And the steps that don't make sense and the steps that don't align. Lord, we pray for the wisdom of God in our destiny steps. Glory to God. Lord, any distractions, any disturbances, anything that would deter us, God, expose, reveal, and remove. Father, any rebellion in us that's causing us not to move in confidence. 
and boldness and authority and dominion. Expose, reveal, and remove in the mighty name of Jesus. Glory to God. Lord, anything in us that would cause us to move like the children of Israel, staying in places we are not supposed to be staying for years, glory to God, for months, for weeks, for days, glory to God, that's not according to your will. Expose, reveal, and remove any any pattern that is, is dysfunctional, any pattern that is confused, any pattern that keeps us stuck and stagnated. And Lord, in the midst of where we are, God, we continuously seek your face. We continuously seek to hear from heaven. Glory to God to hear what it is you have to say. And in our hearing, glory to God, every step we make will be in obedience to your voice. Glory to God. Let us not move to the left or right, but let us keep our eyes on you, Jesus. You are the author. You are the finisher of our faith. Glory to God. And Father, break chains and destroy yokes and annihilate lies, God. And if we're moving in the wrong circle of people, glory to God, that are not moving in the direction they, they need to go, glory to God, and we're not on the same path, glory to God, help us to come out from among them and be ye separated, for you have set us free. Let us not move based upon opinions of men. Let us not move according to a false word that was not even ordained by you. Let us not move based upon what we heard before and still bread, glory to God. But let us have fresh manna daily, glory to God. That is clearly the will of your, uh, of your plans for our life, glory to God. And Lord, in the blueprint that you have for us, teach us to read it, God to discern it, glory to God, to walk in it, glory to God, with, with confidence, glory to God, with boldness. You said, do not throw away our confidence for it will be richly rewarded. And our confidence is in you, that you, tr you trust us to do it. You trust us to do what it is you placed on the inside of us. You've entrusted us with gifts and callings and mandates and assignments. And Father, we're walking in those things, glory to God. And we will not allow any person, any place, anything to lead us us astray from the direction in which you have given unto us. Father, we take the straight and narrow road, glory to God, in the direction in which you have ordained, glory to God, and we're moving in the right direction, glory to God. We're led by the Spirit, glory to God. We're walking in the Spirit, glory to God. We're displaying the fruit of the Spirit, and we will not be uh, caught up in idolatry. We will not be caught up in confusion. We will not be caught up in our feelings and our flesh. Glory to God. So teach us to die to our flesh and teach us uh, to cause ourselves to have emotional uh, intelligence. Glory to God. To be able to walk in freedom and liberation in Christ Jesus. Let us not be in bondage because of the steps you ordered for us, God. Let us not question your will for our lives. Glory to God. Let us just simply ask for the wisdom of God. We tie wisdom around our necks. Glory to God, because it's in your presence. There's freedom and liberation. Glory to God. So those who are in bondage because of their faith, because they're confused, because they're trying to misstep themselves and don't understand the process, Father, deliver them from the bondage of their faith. Glory to God. God, that their faith will continuously be what you said it to be. Glory to God. In the unseen realm, glory to God. They see you. Glory to God. They hear you. Glory to God. They're experiencing you. Glory to God. They're obeying you, Father, in the name of Jesus. And some things that we do, glory to God, we will not understand, but we rest in your knowledge, God. We rest in your presence of peace. Glory to God. Peace and prosperity in our minds and our hearts and our soul. Glory to God. And so we thank you today that you're delivering us from the works of the enemy, things that the enemy will try to entangle us in that will cause us to miss your steps. Glory to God. Today, we are trusting and relying on what you have spoken concerning our lives. We're resting in your, in your power to be able to know what it is you're saying and doing in this hour. And we're not double-minded. We're not unstable. We're not confused. Glory to God. We cast down our imagination to every high thing that exalt itself against your perfect will. Your perfect will be done in our lives. Every day we wake up, teach us to number our days that we can walk in new levels of wisdom and new levels of, of knowledge and new levels of revelation, new levels of the mysteries of your will and walk in boldness and walk in confidence and in and walking in truth. Glory to God, the truth that sets us free daily. So thank you, Father God, for what you have done, for what you're doing, for what you're getting ready to do in our lives 
us. Thank you, Father God, that you have already made crooked places straight. You're perfecting everything concerning us. Thank you, Father God, that you've given us clarity in our thoughts. Glory to God. Thank you, Father God, that our thoughts are in agreement with your perfect will. They shall be established and succeed. Thank you, Father God. Glory to God that if we are meditating on the word day and night, that we can have God success every day. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Every day is numbered and every number uh, is blessed and prosperous and increasing and overflowing in our lives. Glory to God. And we call for every day to acknowledge you in every day, to respond to you every day, to stand firm on your word every day, to walk by faith and not by sight every day. Glory to God. Every day is precious in your sight. Glory to God. We will begin to balance our lives and be able to not to smell the roses, but not be out of your timing and not be out of your will and not be out of your plans and not be out of your provision and not be out of the promises of God. We're in step and in rhythm with your heartbeat. Glory to God. Therefore, we won't miss a step. Glory to God. We will not miss a door. We will not miss opportunities. We will not miss provision. We will not miss the promises of God. We will not miss the plans. We will not miss the windows that are open. Glory to God. We will not miss heaven speaking through uh, uh eternity glory to god we stand firm on your word today and we thank you father that in every day you have numbered for us glory to god we're showing up to demonstrate your power we're present in the present moment of every day glory to god and you're going to get the glory praise and honor in the mighty name of jesus we pray we rebuke the spirit of backlash and retaliation. We cancel every wicked plot of the enemy that would try to come against our day. Glory to God. We stand firm on your word. Glory to God that every day is prospering. Every day is favor. Every day is increase. Every day is overflow. Every day is abundance. Everything, every day we have everything we need in you, Father. And every day we're seeking first the kingdom of God. So thank you, Father God, for leading us and guiding us in the way we need to go. And we will follow you all the days of our living in Jesus mighty name we say man we rebuke car accidents freak accidents the death angel the murdering spirit and every satanic force in Jesus mighty name amen we love you with the love of the Lord if you have any specific prayer requests go to milwaukeemovement.org click the uh, prayer link and we will absolutely be praying for you and if you like to sow prayer seeds, you can go to milwaukeemovement.org, click the give button, or you can also uh, sow through cash app, the dollar sign, uh, the movement center. We call you blessed. We love you, and we'll see you on Wednesday and Friday, 12 p.m. Central Noonday Prayer. God bless.